Hey everyone, my name is Rui and we are here. This is going to be week number four, I believe, of the GGL, the Gallagher Defenders League. And we are up against Matt O'Shea and his Montreal Milotics. And this match took a little bit of effort to schedule, but we're finally here. Uh, this is going to be a really interesting matchup, right? So this is going to be kind of one of the tests of my strategy for drafting Rotom Frost and kind of banding it up with the Drake all to kind of discourage bulky waters and, and to kind of pivot around and kind of do a lot of things that it needs to do and especially not be too, too hindered by ground types like this Palazan that's on the other side here. He does have a lot of protection for things like a Scorvenite and a Slowbro, like the Raichu, which is going to be a huge, huge issue. But uh, I like the way that my team composition kind of interacts with, with his team. Things like the Raichu and the Palisant are going to be huge, huge issues for me. But um, I think I have an opportunity to kind of get things out of the way for Drake Azalt to kind of do what it needs to do in this matchup. And if I can be put in that position, then I think uh, Drake Azalt can do a whole lot in this matchup. I'm just super anxious to see whatever the heck he brings. I have no idea what to expect, but here we see, okay. We will see the Urshifu, which I did expect, the Slowbro, the Krussel, uh, Porygon Z, Corviknight, um, and the Slowbro again, and the Palace Hand. So, right off the bat, no Sylveon's huge, no Charizard is interesting, no Basculin's really interesting. Wow, no Raichu, I just realized no Raichu. I just realized no Raichu. Okay, that's insane. That's nuts. So actually, that means that means that without any scarfs, um, Premier and Outspeeds hit the entire team. Um, although Urshifu is very very likely to be scarfed here. Uh, no Roserade. Wow, no Roserade is really interesting to me. No Roserade is really interesting to me. I think. Yeah, that's super interesting. I think he's. Mm, I don't know. I don't know what he's trying to do here. I do think that um, that Serena is a really solid lead. I feel like I lead with Serena quite a bit. Um, I mean, I also just think that I think Primarina is a really solid lead here. I'm gonna lead with that. Um, now Matt has kind of uh, done gone into some shenanigans with me and Crustle in the past. Um, he has six of me and Josh before with the Crustle. I don't uh, want that to happen again, but hopefully um, we're going to be able to kind of manage that a little bit. Either way, um, I'm extremely, extremely nervous. I'm extremely nervous. Uh, just looking at this matchup here, the door is wide open for Drake's ult. The door is wide open for Drake's ult. Leads off with the Crustle. Now, this thing is very likely sturdy. Um, this thing could very well shell smash. Um, I don't think it would be kind of a strong shell smash set here i really don't have much downsize into just clicking scald here i could also just flip turn out um i think flip turning might just be the way to go here i think flip turning might just be the way to go here if i do flip turn it would allow in this is probably the mod that i want in here though i think you might just want to set up hazards here I could just scald here, I think. I took probably too much time to think about that. But uh, I really... Yeah, it goes down to sturdy. Um, it does allow in the slow burp, but I'm not... I, I don't know. I guess I shouldn't be... It does go for the shell smash right away. So he's trying to 6 Omi once again. Um, that is interesting. That is interesting. Now, uh, I'm not going to say that I can't get 6 out here. But, I believe, I believe I at least have a Mon that, it, that with a Scarf can outspeed this at plus two. I might, okay, so Drake is all for sure can, but I have to hit a move. Um, yeah, Drake is all might actually be the only Mon I have that can do that. Um, I can potentially take a hit with... I can potentially take a hit. He also has to fear Aqua Jet as well. Um, I can also potentially take a hit with um, Sand Slash. But turn one Shell Smash is nuts to me. Let's go for the Earthquake. Can we take one? We do not take one. Okay. Um, Crustle at plus two. I think the only thing I can bring in is... Uh, okay, it does look like Sand Slash can take hits, even a plus two. 
Which is not the way that I would like to use Sand Slash, but Drake's ult feels really dubious to me right now. Oh no, I, yeah, no, I have to go Sand Slash here. Um, I don't think there's anything he can go for. I don't think this thing, like, it's like Aqua Tail or anything, does it? Um, I don't think it does. I'm just, I, I probably should have just clicked, um, uh, Rapid Spin there, but it's fine. I, I mean, we dodged a Crustle 6 -0. Uh, we dodged a Crustle 6 -0. We had to give up Primarina for it, which was pretty bad, in all honesty. Primarina could have done so, so much for me here. Although, mm, maybe not. Maybe not as... Well, it, it does suck against the Urshifu, for sure. For sure, it's really bad against the Urshifu. So, that's something to think about. But... I don't know. I don't even know. What do you, you want to go in here? What do you want to go into now? Um... Goes into the Porygon. So this thing, hmm, this thing could just be like Ice Beam and try to go, for, and try to hit me right now. I don't think. Hmm, how soft am I to to Urshifu if this thing goes now? I think I just go for either rocks or damage. Um, I'm so thrown off by how this match is going. I'm very, very thrown off. I think I just tried to get damage onto this thing, right? I maybe should have set up rocks too. Goes for the try attack. So this thing could just be Scarf Adaptability. But yeah, that's a transaction that I don't mind making here. And I mean, maybe what I should do is just go into this thing. Maybe I should just kind of go for it here. I'm really tempted to go for it, but no, I, I, I probably shouldn't yet. Um, man, I don't even know. Porygon Z. Porygon Z is destroying me. Uh, what about... Well, th that's assuming that it's specs, but it could honestly be specs in this situation. I think I could also do this. But... I'm not sure. I'm not sure how I should play this. Well, it... It, it, it at the very least discourages two switch switch outs. It, it, it makes the only switch out possible, like um, the Palisade here, which is fine. I would expect. Yeah, it does. Okay, that's fine. Uh, it does under half, so it's not specs, I don't think. We do get the Volt Switch off. Oh, uh, that, that actually means that this thing could be Scarfed, which is probably almost as scary here. But let me see here. Porygon Z. Porygon Z. If we take away an item. Yeah, that's almost definitely uh, scarfed. That's almost definitely scarfed. So my only question would be. Yeah. With Serena here. I think I have to click Power Whip. It covers most switch outs except for the Corviknight. And the Corviknight, I'm not the most concerned about. I don't think. Um, but yeah, I, I, I feel like I just kind of have to go for it here. Um, I'm almost positive this thing is Scarfed. And it does withdraw. Probably goes into the Corviknight, right? Yeah. So with the Corviknight in. Um I feel like there's no real downside to going into 
this thing, except for the Palisade, obviously. I think I'd have to double here. But I think I'm I, I think I'm fine with that. I think I'm fine with that. It's gonna be tough though. It's definitely gonna be tough. Goes for the agility, okay. I mean that's definitely problematic. Of an ice. I have no idea what I want to scarf into. But I think I have to pull a double here. I don't think he's willing to dig into Max yet. Or is he? I don't know. If he goes in the Palisade. Yeah, if he goes in the Palisade, then I make that play anyway, right? I don't think. I, I, I think. I think at the very least, getting information on us as to how he would play this interaction is pretty much almost as valuable, right? So, I think that's kind of what I how, how I have to think of this interaction. It goes for the bulk up. So, that's really problematic. That's very problematic. But Jurika's ult is still doing a whole lot of damage. Um, this is tough. This is still so tough. I think, but this is the reason why, why I have the Rotom, right? This is kind of the reason why I have the Rotom. This Corvin, I could honestly just beat me right now. This, how do I prevent this Corvin from beating me? I think, I think, man, I, can't, I really can't give up the Serena, though. I was, I was thinking maybe give up the Serena. I'm out of Pokemon to give up, really, because I really feel like I need... But if I could get in... He's just, he, he's also just waiting for me to miss, too, which is brutal. Oh, and I didn't even think. Is this thing pressure as well? It is pressure. Yeah, I'm gonna... Hmm. I think I'm gonna try to do this. Just to get in... My Cinderace, and then... From there, Cinderace is potentially doing something. But this is such a good core of night set. It really is. I'm just trying to. Mm. This is such a good core of night set. Uh, goes for another bulk up. That's fine. So now I can get body pressed on, which I mean, it's just gonna be have to be what it is. And it's so good because it powers up. Um, because it powers up both. Both. Um. Oh, I should have clicked Pain Split. That's th that's the whole re. I Pain Split for this exact interaction, but uh, I'm not taking a hit anyway. And but yeah, Bulk Up is so good because it powers up both um, both Max Knuckle and Body Press. So it's so good. Power Trip as well. Power Trip as well. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. And I have to try and just make some things happen here, but it's gonna be tough. I don't like I. It's just going to be tough. Um. Yeah, this is gonna. This is gonna do almost no damage. Actually, okay. So this is probably slightly more offensive. I honestly don't even know. Well, judging based, I, I can probably judge based off of the. Drake is all damage, right? Um. Oh, it's also moderately fast too. Uh, this thing is at least. Um. Oh, is this thing really defensive? But no, it can't be that fast and that defensive, can it? Oh, it's a plus one defense, I believe. Yeah, that's why.
That's why. So this thing could honestly just be like max max HP with a whole bunch of speed. But now Um Yeah, Sentry still does a lot of damage. Just not enough. And it's gonna be pretty pathetic damage, in honestly. It's gonna be pretty pathetic damage. So I don't think I can win this anymore. But I don't know. If Cinderace crits, then Cinderace crits. But it's, it's just a very good. It's just a very good Corviknight. I, I I honestly thought the Corviknight would be something that I could uh, kind of abuse in this matchup. But it's it's honestly just not. Um, I believe that lowers my special defense question mark yeah uh but the moral of the story is that i can take two which probably means that it doesn't have um which probably means that it doesn't have um what is that move called um body press at all uh i probably should yeah i, I definitely should have gone for um, airstream. Well, it wouldn't have done enough damage. I don't think it matters, but it would have given me one more chance to crit. Oh, was that a crit? I think that was a crit. That was not a crit. Okay. I just got a super high roll. Okay. That's very interesting. That is very, very interesting. So, that's huge. Palisand is most likely, actually, Porygon's most likely to come in at this point. Porygon's most likely to come in. So yeah, def at, at this point now, definitely Airstream was the move to go for. Um, but I kind of just have to hope for good things now. If I can take one, I don't know. Uh, yeah, no, that was a lot to ask for, always. Um, but now that we're here, I know I can go into I know I can go into this, and I probably just have to U-turn out. Now this would be a fantastic moment for for me to get a crit in honesty. But at this point, um. Yikes, that's so much damage. Actually, that was a huge misplay. I should have just... Oh, that was a huge misplay. That was never the correct play. I don't know what I was thinking about on that play. I don't know what I was thinking. I should have... Well, hmm. I don't know what I was thinking. That was such a bad play. If I had just taken this thing out, he was giving this to me. And then... Drake's ult was in a potential position to win if I could land all my attacks. I guess not because of the palace hand. Yeah, the palace hand always made it difficult. The palace hand always made it difficult. So, I don't know. It's so tough. It's so tough. Is there a way? Is there a way? Actually, I feel like damage onto this thing is the like the last thing that you want to give me, right? Because now I'm like a power up crit away or two away, uh, from potentially being able to win this. I mean, as it's super aggressively not likely, um, especially with the slow bro the way that it is. But I think this gives me a this gives me like one of my only paths, right? And if I could just land three power whips and crit them all, then uh that's as close to a win as I could get, theoretically, right? Because if he if he never gives me damage on the on the Urshifu. If he never gives me damage on, on the Urshifu, then I think I'm always locked out of winning because I'd have to lock into um 
into into play rough. But I don't think I ever get past the slower anyway. Although I am very offensive, so who knows? Who the heck knows? I mean, the fact that I got through the core of knights is amazing to me. Um, what am I looking at for slow for defensive slow, bro? Oh my god, I'm doing almost no damage to this thing. How am I doing so little damage to, th to this? How am I doing so little damage? Is that a crit? No. Counter. Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, I, I got styled on a little bit for, for the end game, but it does actually look like a crit on the slow bro. Um, potentially means that I win. Oh, and of course, the the, the slow row was also probably um, was also probably unaware as well for the Cinderace specifically. Um, but yeah, it, it looks like I do very little damage to to any kind of palisand as well. Uh, so I guess that also doesn't matter. Oh, it's because I have these Dynamax. That's why. Okay, okay. So I'm doing okay now. That makes so much more sense. Okay. Now that slow bro damage should make a whole lot more sense, but that pretty much confirms that it's max defense, right? Um, yeah, it's it's 100% max defense slow bro, um, and I got a, a, a slightly lower roll on that. Um, but it looks like any palisand that's not just complete max defense, and I have a chance to KO it, right? So let's. I mean, if it was specially defensive, then. I definitely have a chance if it's even not bold if it's anything less than max defense and uh not bold then i also have a chance to, to ko that as well so uh, i might have been two crits away from 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 that win there but uh it was always gonna be a tough he definitely out me with that corvinite that corvinite set was beautiful i loved it i didn't know what to do against this the fact that it didn't have body press confused me uh, i think it would have served him a lot better especially against the rotom it would have 1v1 the, the rotom but yeah, that was just an insane match. That was just an insane match. Uh, all the things that I thought would be open for Drake's ult just kind of fell away with after that agility. But with that, that's going to be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back really, really soon with more weeks of the, G of the GDL as well as more weeks of the ABL. We're going to try and do whatever we can in the, in the weeks moving forward. But with that, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. And once again, out.